Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I am back with another scrapbooking process video. Today is a triple challenge. So we are doing Giselle's color combo for Mercy Tiara's winter series. So I'm going to be using lots of pink and green this time around. I'm also doing the fringe challenge for the Secret Not Secret Click Club party. I did this one last weekend with that party. I didn't get the video up until now though. So uh, there's that one. And then I'm also doing paper issues. I missed you, which was also from last month to use some mist on a page. So I am going with the Bloom collection because one, I knew it had fringe and two, I knew it had pink and green. So I went straight for these two papers and I'm just going to fussy cut the fringe paper, which if you're wondering, took forever. So I'm gonna speed this up a lot, <laughs> but I'm basically just using my scissors and actually fringing the fringe paper. So um, that will be how that goes. But while I'm doing this, since it does take a minute, I did just want to say thank you for 300 subbies. You guys are amazing. I did not think it would happen this fast. I literally just posted that um, last video saying that we were getting close and that I was going to give a giveaway as soon as we hit it. And lo and behold, next video. So um, yes, I do have that back box full of goodies. I'm going to pull randomly from the comments in this video a winner next week. Um, so all I need you to do is one, be a subscriber and two, just comment in this video. It really could be anything, but I'm kind of interested to know how you guys found me or met me, if it was on a Facebook group through another person, if we're buddies in school or work or wherever. Um, I'd be interested to know. I think that would be interesting to look and see um, how all of my scrappy peeps came to be here. So um, yeah, you guys, I just, I can't even tell you how much it means to me, all of the support and love you guys give me. So I cannot wait to send this box of goodies to one of you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that'll be this video and I'll probably pull it a week from now. So next Sunday-ish should be when I uh, pull it. And then I'll just, I'll probably just comment on this thread and say that it's closed whenever it's done, done. Uh, but I got all that fringe glued down and then I just uh, crunched some of it up with my fingers so you could really see the texture. And that's basically how my background's going to go. I got stuck here for a good <laughs> two days, two or three days, just staring at this for hours because I knew what the background was gonna be, but after I got this part done, I was stuck. <laughs> um, but I did just go through and just start pulling in pink and green embellishments I had just to see if any of it spoke to me. So I'm starting uh, with that Heidi Swap acetate word called favorite, or that says favorite, I guess. And I'm just going to do a little embellishment cluster down there in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, it was kind of fading in with the pink background. So I just put a doily down there and I'm going to put a tag there as well, just to kind of ground that title. Um, and then I, I think I'm gonna stagger the photos like this, um, but I did just want something to uh, cover up the join between the fringe and the floral so I took that green banner and I just snipped it in two places so that I could it just looks like a border strip that went behind both of those photos <laughs> and then um, all of these brads are simple stories some of them are from domestic bliss some of them are from faith um, I just pulled in the pink ones I had left I figured I could try and get those used up on this page um, but yeah, I needed the, the photos matted in something, so I'm just matting them on white and then I'm going to get those stuck down. <coughs> and then I did go through my die cut packs. There were a few My Mind Eye ones I snagged. I think, um, was it... That little banner was from, uh, oh, this or that. Um, and then I do pull in some from my story, I think it is. But you'll see those in a minute. But I'm just gonna get this little cluster down here. Um, I'm just using some Tim Holtz Tiny Tasher Staples to staple that acetate word down. And it was still blending in too much, so I did just flip another one of those uh, palm, or On Trend 2 tags to uh, be a little grounding spot for that, that little word. And then I did pull in some green twine but I'm happy with that little cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and put those brads through and then I'll start working on the upper right hand corner. There we go. This is my last page for the uh, Smith Gilbert Gardens, which was that Mother's Day trip that you guys have seen a few pages for. Um, I did three actual scrapbook pages uh, for this uh, day. And then I had so many pictures of really, really pretty flowers. And I was kind of like, I can't 
scrapbook all of these because it will be a full album of just pictures of flowers, which would be cool, but also <laughs> I <laughs> I really, I, okay, so I decided to do these three pages of actual scrapbook pages and then what I ended up doing with all the pictures of the flowers is I just glued them like six four by sixes to a page so that it was just a full page of photos. I didn't really embellish that much, but those photos are going to be tucked in between all of these actual scrapbook pages. <laughs> um, but that way I got all the pictures in the album, but I wasn't spending a year and two albums worth just on scrapbooking pictures of flowers. <laughs> so that's what I went with that. Um, this little deer was in one of the cut apart sheets for the Bloom collection, so I'm just fussy cutting her. She's super cute. Uh, so she's going to go in that upper section with that other tag I made. I got that other brad on there as well as some more green twine. So I'm just trying to build up that section. I also had these matte green enamel dots from Freckled Fawn. Um, and so I thought I'd pull those in. It was a pretty good match for the green that was in the Bloom collection. So I, I stuck a few of those on there here and there. And this tag was left over from my mind's eye, my story, so I did just tuck that in behind there. I love the way frames look tucked in the backgrounds of things. <laughs> so I thought that was a cute touch, and that's been in my stash for a minute, so I'm glad that got up on a page too. <laughs> that's, uh, that's most of the paper embellishments. Now I'm just going through with the hashtag sticker book. That's a One Canoe 2 hashtag sticker book, and going through all of the pink stickers. So I'm going to pull in lots of the word stickers, some of the hearts. Um, I've had this sticker book for a while. It's well loved, but there are still like hundreds of stickers in here. So by now I picked through most of my favorites. So I'm having a harder time getting through what's left. So I was really happy to be able to pull um, quite a few of the stickers in on this page. <laughs> but it's mostly just the like two different colored of like pink phrase stickers and then um, like three hearts I think I got on here. I really tried to find more. You see me like looking through trying to find more stuff to use, but I really have used a good bit of it, so I'm glad I at least got what I did on here. Oh my gosh, I just had the biggest compulsion to sing Adele's <laughs> Heidi Shine song. <laughs> um, I will spare you guys my singing. But yeah, for that, um, I missed you. I'm just, the challenge for paper issues, I'm just sprinkling a diagonal uh, section of pink Heidi Swap Mist, and now I'm just doing my title. So those are Bella Boulevard white puppy stickers. I'm just calling it Smith Gilbert because this is the third page that I've done for uh, this day and I had not mentioned where we were. So um, yes, got that on there. But yeah, I think this is it. Uh, it's kind of a simple page. It just took a ton of time with the fringing and everything, but I like how it turned out. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe for the giveaway. I will tag whoever is the winner next week. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.